Hi everyone, Steve Ramors here with a box break of the Bullseye Toy Ant-Man dog tags. Like in my Jurassic World dog tags opening, um, this, these videos are split into two parts. Um, this second part being the box break and the other video, which is the uh, introduction and review. So I'll put a link to that below. But right now, let's open up these dog tags. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on the box, but you can see uh, Paul Rudd's Ant-Man on the cover, Marvel, um, $2.99. Uh, Avengers in the corner, dog tags, and you got a cool concept art of the Ant-Man right here. Um, Marvel Ant-Man. Some details about um, finding the number of dog tags in the box, like the Jurassic World ones. They have some rainbow ones and some foil ones and some special stuff. So um, let's just get it open. So here's an Ant-Man dog tags pack. Um, it comes with a dog tag and a sticker, and let's see if we can... Approximate odds per pack of finding special rainbow foil tags, one in four, no guaranteed number of special foil dog tags per pack, bullseye to etc, etc. So let's just open it up. I'm super excited to see Ant-Man. Um, I mean, Paul read the genius so and Evangeline Lily is awesome so I'm really excited to see that movie. Alright so we have a rainbow foil Ant-Man sticker and we have a little uh, booklet that a checklist that comes with each one like in the Jurassic Park ones, Jurassic World ones. And then here we got this great image of Ant-Man shrinking and it looks like a rainbow foil one. So that's cool. So we'll take a look at the checklist for a minute. Um, it's got lots of cool concept art. And here you can see all of the uh, dock tags. So it's a little bit of a smaller set than Jurassic World, but uh, it looks to feature a lot of great concept art and artwork um, from the film. So that's really cool. Oh, and then, yeah, so there's a, a parallel foil set. And the sticker we have is, it almost looks like it's from the original Edgar Wright um, thing with uh, him bursting through the glass. And then we have the yellow jacket, the villain in the film, played by Corey Stoll. So that's really cool. And then another checklist. So we have another Ant-Man sticker of him in the suit. And the checklist, let's get all that stuff out of the way. And then we have another yellow jacket um, ready for action. So that's dope. Checklist. And then we have Another cool image of the shrinking Ant-Man after he's attacked a guard. And then we have, oh cool, this is like a cool more uh, cartoon looking image of Ant-Man in the yellow jacket. You know, they're sort of based on the similar technology uh, invented by Hank Pym, played by Michael Douglas in the film, so that's cool. We got this uh, similar, the same image again on the sticker of Ant-Man, a checklist, and then we have, oh that's cool. Get a close up of that. There we go. A really cool image of Yellow Jacket shrinking down, so that's dope. So we have, here we go, Ant Man shrunken down to be an electrical shock, socket with, uh, with some ants. It's interesting. And then we have another rainbow foil card. Uh, a rainbow foil dog tag, I should say, of Ant-Man jumping into action. Okay, now we have another great image of on the sticker of Ant-Man shrinking down. And then we have that uh, sticker of the socket uh, image, but in dog tag form. Now I'll admit I am not as familiar with the Ant-Man comics, but I'm a big fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and I am really looking forward to the film and seeing what Paul Rudd brings to the, you know, to these movies. I mean, he's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Avengers in Civil War, so that'd be cool. 
We got a foil sticker of the Ant-Man jumping through the glass. And then we have a foil of this uh, sticker, um, now is a dog tag of a uh, close up of, of Ant-Man's helmet, so that's cool. So we have, again, the sticker of the shrinking Ant-Man. We have a foil version of Ant-Man after he's taken out a guard. Okay, we have another foil sticker of the socket motif. And then we have um, a foil version of the yellow jacket shrinking down. Boom. Okay, so this is a new image. It features Ant-Man riding on a signature ant, which is pretty cool. I'm so curious to see how they achieve that um, in the films. I'm really looking forward to that. And then we have him riding an ant on this dog tag, so that's cool. So here, the dog tag, we have um, a close-up of Yellow Jacket, and then we have, oh, and the same design but on a sticker. So we have the shrinking Ant-Man after attacking uh, a guard again. And then we have, oh, this is cool, um, at the local Arclight um, movie theater uh, in Los Angeles, they have a giant version of this um, on the wall. All right. And we have this sticker design again, which I really like. It's very moody and you can kind of see some ants behind him. All right, and then you have the Ant-Man jumping into action here. I believe we've got this one before. The stickers and the and the dog tags in the set are look to match pretty one-to-one, -one, so, uh, you know, you want to put the stickers on something you can and then wear the dog tag at the same time, so that's pretty cool. All right, we got this image of the shrinking Ant-Man again, which I really like. And then we have him jumping into action. Okay, for this one we have, oh cool, this cart, this sort of cartoonish um, image of Yellow Jacket and Ant-Man together. I really like this a lot too. It's a very different art design than the rest of them. And then we have Ant-Man with this sort of purplish background jumping into action. So that's cool. Okay, we have a Ant-Man logo. Okay, sorry, I bent it a little bit. <laughs> um, Ant-Man logo with um, Ant-Man on it, so that's cool. And then we have um, Ant-Man riding an ant. Oh, cool. We have this yellow jacket concept art that I really like a lot. And then we have um, an image of an ant flying with the Ant-Man logo. And then, yeah, it looks like Ant-Man's down there. So that's cool. We just have a few more left. Um, these are all really cool. Um, notice that there's no footage from the movie itself. It's just mostly concept art. Um, but that's cool because, I mean, you know, it's Marvel, so you want to have that original Marvel imagery, and so I think this is really cool. Again, this Yellow Jacket sticker that I really like. And then we have Yellow Jacket here as well in this cool one. All right, we have that cool Yellow Jacket concept art. And then we have, oh, this is new. This is a great image of um, just Ant-Man's head um, inside the mask. And it looks even more sort of original concept darty. The helmet looks a little bit different than uh, the one on the film. All right, we got two more left. Again, this is, these, are, these are from Bullseye Toys. They brought you the Jurassic World dog tags, uh, the Jurassic World slap bands, um, they did Avengers dog tags, so um, yeah, they're a really cool company. Um, here we got that great Ant-Man concept art. I really like this in a sticker form, that's cool. And then we have, oh, we got another rainbow foil. This time we have a forward view of Ant-Man on an ant charging into battle, so that's rad. And we have, oh, fitting to end on the Ant-Man logo. That's cool. 
for the sticker. And then we have this image of Ant-Man after he's taken out a guard. That's dope. And that's been a box break of the Bullseye Toy Marvel Ant-Man dog tags. I'll put a link below to the review and the initial introduction uh, below, as well as to where you can buy these dog tags at all retailers near you. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more. And be sure to follow me on Twitter at Steve Ray Morris. Thanks, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.